<laughs> Caleb Hammer, oh boy, you're gonna get yourself in some deep, you know what, with strong man, oh, I'm gonna tear you up, boy. <laughs> Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. So we're gonna talk about Caleb Hammer. We all know who this pudgy, freaking Pillsbury Doughboy doofus is. He's got a million subscribers on YouTube, and the whole point of his channel is that he brings people on, random people, normal everyday people, and he shames them for their bad personal finances. He's like the younger, fatter Dave Ramsey, basically. I've been wanting to make a video about him for a while. And the whole purpose of that video was to say that his channel was absolutely useless for your personal finances. What is not useless is learning about things like tax advantage accounts and blah, 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 blah. That's another story. I think his channel's useless. What's the point of this video? Well, apparently there's some trauma going on with Caleb Hammer, Scott Schaefer, who's a freaking freak, a loser and a clown and a liar, and Zeke. Who's Zeke? Well, Caleb Hammer had this guy named Zeke on his channel. Zeke has long, dark hair, and he's tan, and he's handsome, and he's cute. And I guess Caleb Hammer got a little interested in that, right? <laughs> but no, so apparently there's some accusations going around that Caleb Hammer assaulted this guy. I don't know if it was verbally or physically. And basically this guy's now telling the world what happened. And this came out on a channel, a very small channel that interviewed Zeke and actually talked to Caleb Hammer directly. And on that channel, on that video where Caleb Hammer was exposed, there were some disturbing things that were said, but let's focus on the drama here. So apparently Caleb Hammer, according to Zeke, assaulted him. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's verbally or physically. <clears throat> My first thoughts is, <clears throat> we don't. I don't know if anything's true. Caleb could be telling the truth. Zeke could be telling the truth. Or it could be a combination of the two. I'm not going to go out here and say, oh, Caleb, yeah, yeah he 100% assaulted this guy. We don't freaking know, okay? This guy could be clout chasing. This guy could be doing anything. That's not the point. What is the point is that even if Caleb Hammer did not assault this guy, even if Caleb Hammer was completely innocent, there are some disgusting things that I heard on this other channel, and I'll pin the video below so you can listen to it yourself, about Caleb Hammer sending some kind of voice message to Zeke and saying some very disgusting things. Now, let me par let me paraphrase what Caleb Hammer said. So, so I think, so I have a friend that has OnlyFans, and basically he wants you to come on his OnlyFans, and he wants you, he wants to like, you know, you know, touch you and, you know, touch your schlong and caress you and eat your butthole. And, uh, yeah, the, you know, the, then the more that he does, the more you'll get paid, Zeke. So what do you think? You want to come on my friends only fans and get your cheeks clapped, huh? What? Caleb Hammer, if this is a real recording, is basically pimping out his fans. That's right. Caleb Hammer left a voicemail, allegedly. I mean, I, I can't verify it. I don't know. But it sounds like him left a voicemail propositioning this guy to go on his friends only fans. Now sit back and think about that for a second. Can you imagine a YouTuber dealing with personal finance, getting involved with pimping out his fans to a friend? Maybe it's Caleb. I don't know. I think I think Caleb's well, I think he admitted he's gay. I always it was obvious to me that he's freaking gay. But anyway. Could you imagine pimping out your fans? Like, that has got to be one of the most heinous, disgusting things I have ever seen. When I heard that video clip, I was absolutely appalled. And I'm not just saying this with, like, false, like, oh, false outrage. The things that he said and just how it, the whole thing went down is just uh, beyond disgusting. Like, imagine if I interviewed you, right? Let's say I brought a fan on. Like, hey, tell me about your experience with Jeremy. <clears throat> and you're some chick. And then I call you afterwards. I'm like, hey, hey, baby, I liked your booty. I liked your butt. I liked your, liked your chesticles. Why don't you come on my friends only fans? And he can, you know, you know, touch your stomach and breathe in your neck and do whatever other disgusting, degenerate things he wants to do. What do you think, baby? I mean, you you were pretty hot. You know what I'm saying? Don't you don't you want my, my friend to clap your cheeks for pay? Huh? Like, could you imagine if I did that? That's just disgusting. 
Okay, like it's it's basically exploiting your fans. <laughs> And just because you're famous doesn't mean somebody's attracted to you. I think a lot of these, like, famous people, they think people are, like, attracted to them because they're famous. And that's not how it works necessarily, okay? But this thing, this is the, one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. So I'm going to pin the video below. And I want you to just listen to what Caleb Hammer said to this guy. And even if he didn't assault him, that doesn't matter. That, that, that's not what I'm disgusted by. I'm disgusted by the fact that Caleb Hammer is pimping out his audience. Like, you didn't think this was going to come back and bite you in the butt, you freaking weirdo, you freak? <laughs> this is, like, morally disgusting, okay? Caleb, I'm going to tear that butt up, literally. <laughs> but I'm going to tear you up, boy. I thought you were just a lame-ass YouTuber that, you know, just made fun of people for no reason and didn't really teach anything. But you're also apparently a degenerate freak that thinks it's okay to pimp out your fans. And maybe it's just to you, I don't know. But no, look, if you're a creator... If you're on the finance, don't get involved in OnlyFans. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> even if you're attracted to somebody, that doesn't mean you pimp them out to OnlyFans or try to get in their pants just because you're freaking famous. It's disgusting. Okay, 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 Caleb. Maybe I'll do a video reacting to the message later. Oh, it's just, oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my thoughts. I don't know if the accusations are true. I don't care. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, if they, if they were true, I would care. But you can't, it's hard to prove that stuff. But you can watch the whole drama in the pinned comment below in the video. But when you hear that message that Caleb sent, assuming that's him, you're not going to be happy either. At least I hope you won't. Cheers!